Hello and welcome to another Art Master Studio tutorial. My name is Toby and today I'll be showing you how to paint an Old West Outlaw figure from Knuckle Duster Miniatures. We've already primed the figure black and we'll begin by base coating the flesh with Vallejo Flesh Base. Add some water to the paint so it's not too thick but don't add too much because it won't cover well and may require multiple coats. I'm leaving some black between the fingers for added shading, try and be fairly neat to save yourself time later. For the trousers I've chosen a nice shade of dark brown, Vallejo German Camo Black Brown. This colour is very versatile and can be used as a base coat for many things such as wood, hair or leather. Moving on to the jacket, I've gone for a Vallejo Burnt Umber. This is an earthier shade of brown, but still nice and gritty for a mean outlaw. I'm using Vallejo Dark Mud for the hat, which will end up a nice khaki colour when highlighted. For an added splash of colour, I've chosen to paint his necktie pink. I'm base coating it in Games Workshop Tusk Gore Fur. Neckties are particularly nice to add some colour to an otherwise dark looking figure. Next I'm using Vallejo Dark Rust for the shoes and belt. I'm also using it on the hair as well as the gun stock. As these areas are all fairly small, it's not a big deal if they share the same colour. There's a little bit of shirt showing so we'll do that in Vallejo Light Mud for a dirty white look. We'll paint his gun with Army Painter Gun Metal. This will also be used for his spurs later. I went back to Burnt Umber to undercoat the rope on his hat. Now the figure is fully base coated, we can see him coming to life. We'll start highlighting his trousers by mixing Vallejo Flat Brown with German Camo Black Brown. It's roughly a 50-50 mix. It's important that the paint is fairly thin for blending. You can see how I'm layering the paint on the raised areas of cloth. I'm not leaving too much of the base coat showing, mostly just in the creases. I mix Vallejo US Field Drab with Burnt Umber for the jacket highlight. Again, it's roughly a 50-50 mix. The same technique applies. You can use some artistic license here and go with what looks best. Remember that people will see the figure from all angles under various lights, so try not to have the highlights look as if he's under an extremely bright sun from one angle. This can be good for dioramas or photos, but I find an all-round highlight works best. For the first hat highlight, I mix Vallejo Khaki with Dark Mud in a 50-50 mix. Highlight all around the hat, but not so much under the brim where it would normally be in shadow. Mm -hmm. 
Now for the flesh, I'm using Games Workshop Agrax Earthshade. This is a very good way to add quick shading to your flesh. It pulls into all the natural crevices and creates a solid foundation to highlight. It's almost like cheating. We'll highlight the necktie with Army Painter Scar Tissue. This is a nice dusky pink to complement Tuscor fur. For the leather, we'll use a mix of Vallejo Leather Belt with Dark Rust. Again, 50-50 mix. Try and pick out the small details on these parts like shoe soles and individual bullet loops. Now we've highlighted everything once, we're onto the final stretch where the figure really starts looking good. The trousers are highlighted again with Vallejo Flat Brown on its own this time. Paint over the trousers leaving some of the first highlight showing. Focus on the upper part of each fold of cloth. This will create a natural transition between the layers. The jacket's second highlight is US Field Drab, but I have added a tiny bit of burnt umber to it, bringing it down a notch. If you're unsure if the contrast is too much, try it in a small area of cloth first and let it dry. If it doesn't look right, darken it down and try again. The second highlight on the hat is Vallejo Khaki. Focus on the extreme edges of the brim and the top of the hat. Now for the flesh, I'm using Vallejo Flesh Base. I'm painting over most of the face, leaving some shading either side of the nose and in the eyes. I painted the eyelids as well as they are quite large on this figure. Paint the entire back of the hand and each finger. Don't leave too much shading, mostly just between the fingers and where the hand meets the jacket. We'll give the leather a final highlight with Vallejo Leather Belt. We'll also use this on the hair and gun stock. The rope on the hat is highlighted with Vallejo Green Ochre. Small dots will give it a nice textured look. We'll highlight the necktie with Army Painter Centaur Skin. The second highlight on the flesh is a mix of Vallejo Flat Flesh and Flesh Base. Focus the brush on the eyebrows, nose and cheekbones. 
On the hands you can leave a little of the first highlight showing. We'll paint the lip in Games Workshop Tusk Score Fur to add some life to the figure. Next we'll do the spurs in Gunmetal. It's easier to do this after you've highlighted the shoes. It's totally not because I forgot to do them earlier. Wash the gun with Games Workshop Known Oil. Next we'll add some details to the figure with gold on the buttons, belt buckle and bullets poking out of the belt. We'll do a final highlight of Vallejo flat flesh on its own. Only use this sparingly on the knuckles, nose, eyebrows and cheekbones. The shirt gets a quick highlight of ivory and we'll use that for the eyes as well. It turns out it's very hard to paint eyes from behind the camera so I made a bit of a mess here. I correct it off camera with some flat brown and ivory. Just take your time and make sure you can see what you're doing. I also highlighted the gun with a bright silver and tidied up some areas in between colours with black for an overall neater look. And that's it for the tutorial. You can find us at artmasterstudio.co.uk and on Facebook, just search for Artmaster Studio. If you'd like to commission us, send us an email to artmasterstudio at hotmail.co.uk. I'll leave you with a turnaround of 10 knuckle duster figures I painted. You can see how nice they look when based as well. They are really fantastic figures. There are links in the video description to our website and the Knuckle Duster website. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with future tutorial videos. I'm looking forward to reading your comments and responding to any questions you might have. That's all for now, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.